Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Um, got an open cell here. I want to put a cap on there. Okay. I'm going to talk to you today about doing a specific gravity with check with your battery. If you have a liquid battery with acid in it, it has a solution of 25% sulfuric acid, 75% distilled water, and you can tell how your battery is doing by measuring the specific gravity. And you do that using a battery hydrometer. This one is made by Easy Red. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a sample of the liquid and we're going to measure specific gravity and the needle will tell you good, fair, or bad. And a good battery is going to have 1.25 or higher specific gravity. But let me tell you about people that buy batteries when they don't need them. When a battery reaches a specific gravity of 1.225, that's the number I want you to write down, 1.225 or 12.4 volts, the battery cannot be load tested accurately. So if you take it on down to one of those big auto part places that destroy batteries because they destroy batteries, uh, and they do a load test, they're going to make you, they're going to tell you it failed. What you need to tell them is look, or tell us, look, I want to do a check and charge. I want this battery charged up. It takes about 24 to 48 hours. You need to get the specific gravity and the voltage above 1.22 or 12.4 volts to accurately do a test. And with that said, we will charge the battery up. It'll take about a full day. We'll let the battery sit for three hours, and then we'll check your battery. And nine out of ten times, if the battery is two years or less, it's going to be good to go, ready to go again. I would safely say 40% of people that buy batteries um, that are two years or younger don't need to buy batteries. They just have an undercharged battery. So with the battery hydrometer, you test every cell. And you use safety glasses. It's sulfuric acid. And you measure each cell's concentration. This actually tells you the battery state of charge as well. It's a very awesome tool. can't be fooled by by its surface charge. And you go through each cell and you want to see a consistent reading for each cell. If you don't, that means you have a cell that's getting weak and it can be fixed. What you do is you do a temporary overcharge and then get it going. That's my tip for today and we'll talk to you soon.